We have entered the mid-November days of this year. Less than two months left until the K-drama world will welcome the new year. But it seems that in the last days of this year, it has a lot of negative information. So today, let's find out what that information is with B-Bali Drama. Park Min Young and Lee Sung Gi's management company was suddenly searched for an emergency. On November 10, SBS reported that Hook Entertainment's headquarters in Changdam Ward, Gangnam District, Seoul was suddenly raided by the Serious Crime Investigation Division of the National Police Agency and seized a lot of evidence. Reportedly, the search lasted for five hours. Hook Entertainment currently manages a series of artists such as Park Min Young, Lee Sung Ji, Lee Seo Jin, Lee Sun Hee and Yun Yu Ying. It's rare for the police to suddenly raid an entertainment company, so netizens can't help but wonder about the reason behind. There have been many suspicions that Hook Entertainment was searched for being related to the companies of the scandalous tycoon Kong Jong Yun, Park Min Young's ex-boyfriend. It is known that this tycoon has a rather scandalous past, having received a suspended prison sentence for embezzlement of investment funds. He was also a regular at nightclubs and always asked for 10 hostesses at these parties as well as always ordered the most expensive wine. As an expert said, Hook Entertainment was being investigated for internal problems. However, until now, the real reason has not been revealed by the police. Whatever the reason, this incident seems to be very serious and especially makes K-drama lovers as well as Park Min Young and Lee Sung Gi's fans really extremely worried. The Golden Spoon's unfair treatment of Yuk Sung Jae? Very poorly known in the international market, but The Golden Spoon was successful in terms of domestic viewership ratings. According to data from Nielsen Korea, episode 9 of the drama, Golden Spoon, aired on the evening of October 21st, recorded an average nationwide rating of 7.8%, an increase of 3.2% compared to the episode aired previously, and set a record for the drama's rating since the beginning of its broadcast. Sadly, the cast was reported to have continuously encountered bad problems from the filming time to the time the drama was broadcast. Specifically, on September 10, Yung Cheyan, the female lead of The Golden Spoon, had an accident while filming for the drama. The actress fell down the stairs and was immediately taken to the hospital for examination. After receiving the results of X-rays and CT scans, Cheyan suffered a broken collarbone and symptoms of a concussion that needed urgent treatment. The incident turned Yung Cheyan's upcoming plans upside down and The Golden Spoon crew would have to shoot scenes that don't include her first. Fortunately, everything was fixed and the drama officially aired its first episode on September 23. The return of Yuk Sung Jae with the Golden Spoon has also created a lot of good effects for the drama. Suddenly, controversy broke out again. Recently, netizens on various online communities pointed out that the supporting actor Sun Woo Yun even appeared in the making videos and filming site photos of The Golden Spoon more frequently than the main actor. Since Sun Woo Yun's character Jang Monkey does not account for a relatively high proportion of the drama, the actor's high proportion in the making videos and photos posted on the official website caused a discrimination controversy. When the controversy arose, a broadcasting official explained through Asun, saying that the filming site's atmosphere was amicable. Yuk Sung Jae, Yonu, and Yung Cheyan are all idols, so they were used to filming promotional videos such as making films and were always cooperative. Later, the Golden Spoon team revised the introduction of the controversial making video and hid all the behind-the-scenes photos of Sun Woo Yun on MBC's official website. However, in the process, a large number of photos, including individual, group cuts of leading actors such as Lee Jong-won, Yung Cheyun and Yi Woo, and images of major scenes in the drama were also deleted, causing fans to feel extremely confused. In particular, internet users claim that more than 100 photos of Yuk Sung Jae as the main character and other pictures including him have been deleted. Not only that, the thumbnail has also been changed to a photo of supporting actors. In response to this, netizens poured out criticism, saying, Why are you doing this to Sung Jae? Why are you deleting those normal photos? Currently, there is no response from the producer. If there is any further statement from them, we are ready to update you. 3. One Dollar Lawyer and Rumors of Internal Conflict On November 11, the final episode of SBS's One Dollar Lawyer was broadcast. Although the series ended two episodes earlier than expected, thanks to the interesting ending, the final episode, 12th episode, of One Dollar Lawyer recorded 15.2% nationwide. This is 1.6% higher than the 11th episode's 13.6% and is also 0.2% higher than the previous highest viewer rating of 15.0%, Episode 8. 
However, One Dollar Lawyer was only aired once a week due to its frequent schedule cancellations, and was criticized by viewers as a half-ass drama. In addition, rumors of discord between the production company and the writers broke out at the beginning of the series. Many suspected that the feud between SBS subsidiary production company, Studio S and the writers has led to a war of nerves which disrupted the drama's original schedule. Specifically, the episode on the 21st of last month was cancelled without a reason and replaced by One Dollar Lawyer, Intermission, which made viewers re-watch highlight scenes from episodes 1 to 8, as an alternative. On the 28th, the drama continued to be cancelled for the broadcast of a professional baseball postseason. Subsequently, fans of One Dollar Lawyer was once again disappointed to know that their favorite drama had to be postponed due to SBS's Social Park Knowledge Sharing Project, 2022D Forum, on November 4. Due to the viewers' complaints, SBS cancelled 2022D Forum, but made them even angrier by keeping the drama cancellation plan and aired G Sun Cinema Mind instead. At that time, TV Daily asked SBS, is it because the editing process has not been done yet? In response, SBS said, the editing process has been completed. The decision to cancel the broadcast this time was our strategy. There is another thing that made viewers rage. Unlike its plan to air 14 episodes, SBS announced that the drama production had been reduced to 12 episodes. The production team explained, we decided to make it a 12-episode drama to have a high-quality ending. However, this reason was not persuasive to the viewers since hot dramas are normally extended, not reduced. In response to this issue, director Kim said, it can't be anyone's fault. We had a lot of discussions internally. It was my first time to realize that there are things that could not be done only with one's heart and effort. Nevertheless, I am grateful to those who have watched the drama until the end. However, this answer couldn't really convince the audience because this is not the first time SBS has had noises about cancelling the broadcast schedule of dramas. Thus, netizens hope that the follow-up series, The First Responders, which will be on air at the same time as the World Cup season, would be completed airing without any issues. After all these negative information, at the end of today's video, I will bring you some joyful news, it's the return of some beloved Korean dramas as their second seasons are being released. Alchemy of Souls 2 Prior to the premiere of Alchemy of Souls' first season in June, director Park Joon-hwa shared during a press conference for the series that a second season had always been on the cards for the show. There were so many changes and variations in our narrative, so I thought I wanted to put a human story in it, he told the press at the time, per Sports Chosen. According to the information disclosed, actress Go Yoon Yoon, who played Nak Su in Part 2, will appear in 10 of the episodes in place of Jung So Min, who played Mew Doc. The return of Alchemy of Souls with Part 2 of the series to be released in December was announced by TVN and an exact air date has now been determined. The first installment of Part 2 will air on December 10. The drama has also dropped its first teaser poster, giving off the, if you know, you know, vibe, and it's the perfect bait to get us hyped for the fate of our favorite characters in the drama's final installment. We'll be revealing the details of Season 2 in the December upcoming K-Dramas video, so stay tuned for it in the next video. Work Later, Drink Now 2. Season 2 continues the story of our three girls, broadcast writer Lee Sun Bin, yoga teacher Han Sun Wa and origami YouTuber Jung Eun Ji. We also get to look forward to more of Choi Shi Wan and Yoon Shi Yoon reprising their roles from the first installment. In terms of the avalanche of promos, in addition to the recent teaser drop, TVING also put out some cool moving video teasers across their social channels. I know short videos are all the rage right now, but there's something really special and entrancing about this moving poster concept, right? Directed by Park Soo Won and written by Wee So Young, Work Later Drink Now 2 Inches premieres on December 9th. Money Heist. Korea, Joint Economic Area, Part 2. Netflix recently confirmed the release date of the second part of the drama Money Heist, Korea, Joint Economic Area. According to information from Netflix, Money Heist, Korea, Joint Economic Area Part 2 will be officially released on this platform on December 9. Along with the release date announcement, Netflix also released the official poster to make the audience more excited. The poster attracts attention with the scene of a motorbike rushing past Mint and other robbers, while the police are trying to protect the hostages. Fans are now extremely curious about the identity of the person on the motorbike. This will be the clue to another story that will unfold. Whether part 2 will be as controversial as part 1. Let's watch the drama and discuss it together in our following videos. And that's all the news we want to bring to you today.
What news are you most shocked or impressed with? Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Bali Drama for next interesting videos.